cute is this? These are sold out everywhere already. Ah! Oh my god. The best for last. feel it rush sipping on Hawaiian punch. Please the sides feel it rush sipping on Hawaiian punch. Good morning. I started my day off. I already went to Pilates. I get into the clips here. My second Pilates class here, and I love it here. I like the most, it's so aesthetic here. Like, this is what you see on Pinterest, but my outfit I didn't really plan. It's kind of crazy. It's from Set Active, and I'm wearing my pink socks from Amazon. I look like a watermelon. Yesterday, and then I did this. I'm just scared for my body today and tomorrow. But they closed the road over there, so I had to park all the way uphill. <laughs> I need a coffee. But today is an exciting day because I'm going to try and clean the whole house. I have a deadline because basically my boyfriend's been away for like a week and I, the house was so messy. I was just like unpacking everything. I think he lands at like 6 p.m. today. So that's my deadline. I'm going to try to unpack everything by 6 p.m. today because it's insane. I tried cleaning in the last vlog, but there's just so much to do. I'm going to start off my day. I want to get Starbucks. There's this one Starbucks drink that I really want to get. It has this matcha cold film on it. It's unreal. I did like a TikTok on it. Wait, let's park. Oh! As long as it's not another car or an animal or a person, we're good. Hi, baby. Also, when I did my Ikea vlog, people were like, why do you just leave Blue in the car? Because first of all, Ikea doesn't really allow dogs. And my car has dog mode, so I can put it on dog mode and it leaves the air conditioning on. And it's better to like have an adventure with Blue than, you know, doing nothing and staying home all day. She likes coming on adventures. You ready? You want to go to Starbucks, get coffee? <laughs> ready? We're all green today. I got a pumpkin spice latte with matcha cold foam. I'm so excited. This is so good. Oh my god. Sarah just texted me saying that Shape Shack just opened. <laughs> I'm so excited for pop. This one is good. I'll show you when it comes. Thank you. And do you have a straw as well? Thank you. Thank you. But. I'm kind of matching the drink. This is the drink. How satisfying is this? Like, ah. <laughs> But yeah, I just asked for, girl, the music. The weekend wants my AdSense money so bad. Stop. You make enough money. But yeah, I got a grande ice pumpkin spice latte with matcha cold foam and almond milk. It's so good. Ah. And they put the little like cinnamon on top. Mm. This is so good. And it's like, I love matcha and coffee. So like the combination of the two, it's so good. I'm also gonna go to um, the grocery store really quick cause I want to get some iced coffee just for the house. You wanna be on my lap? Let's go to the grocery store. Last time I was here, all the coffee was right at the front. I see it. <laughs> this is my favorite. I think I'm gonna get one for now. Are you mad? Oh my God, whip topping. That's crazy. Should I get that? I got it. I got the whipped cream. I got the whipped topping. Bomb bomb. What are you trying to get on my lap for? And two pumpkin spice lattes because I'm pretty sure they were on sale. I saved $2.60, y'all. I'm so happy. I didn't have any coffee at home. Also, I don't know if I ever showed you this, but I got this. I hope it doesn't get desensitized. This like stress ball. It's a boob. It honestly is very like stress relieving. It actually feels like a real boob. I got one for me and one for my boyfriend. So whenever we're stressed, we'll think about each other. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I mixed my drink. It looks kind of like a swamp, but I want to make I used to go to Alfred's all the time and they would have these BLT sandwiches I want to try and make it everything bagel. So BLT bacon lettuce tomato. Where's my bacon? And then for the sauce, this is what makes it spicy mayo. I'm gonna try and make I don't know if it's gonna be as good as the ones that I get at Alfred's, but I'm gonna try. Let's cook the bacon first. Avocado oil. It's like a day or two expired, but I think it's fine. We'll just cook it all right now. Oh my god, why are they so long? Mm. Could you use a little? 
this is fire. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is the best BLT I've ever made. Want some of my bacon? You can have a whole bacon, actually. Mm. When I'm done eating, you have some. This is unreal. This will save me a lot of money because I remember at Alfred's, it was so expensive. I think this was like 10 or 12 bucks for this sandwich. Now I can make it at home. It's so easy. Sit, paw, other paw, circle, sit. Good job. Good catch. Good job. Yummy. <laughs> Fun fact about Blue. Blue does not eat vegetables. The only veggie that she eats is tomatoes because growing up in Canada, I would always get a sandwich circle. Um, and take out the tomatoes and I would give it to her as a baby. So she loves tomatoes. That's the only vegetable she eats. <laughs> oh, cutie. It's from her childhood. Yeah. I just took a shower. I self tan because I want to be, I don't know, cute and tan. I always feel really good about myself when I'm in tan. I always use Bondi Sands. I don't know. I was going back and forth. These are the ones I always use. Either Bondi Sands. I like the original one though. I don't love the foam. This one. And then the tanning mousse. Ooh, it's okay. This will come off in the wash. <laughs> but the main thing that I want I'm gonna open some boxes downstairs and show you what it looks like. First, I'm gonna make the bed. Because <laughs> I feel like making your bed makes the room in the house feel a lot cleaner. I wanna eventually decorate. I feel like our bed is so boring. It's literally just like brown and white, but ta-da. Show her bum bum. Can I use this? I'm sorry. Sorry, can I use this? Whatever, it looks good there. I'll just keep it there, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. What the bum bum wants, the bum bum gets. Biggest procrastinator. I just spent the past hour trying to learn the water dance. Make me sweat. Make me hot. I can't do it. And I have underwear. I like fully have underwear lines. But ta -da! we should do them now. I got a bunch of packages in the mail and I wanted to open them up for you. A lot of them I got for like the home decor and stuff like that and some of them are just PR packages. I want to start out with my favorite one. I actually re 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 did. I already opened it. I got it from eBay Authenticity Guarantee and I'm so excited to show you. I basically, I opened it on my TikTok but I want to show you how it came in the mail. This is what I got. It's this Chanel classic flap and it came all the way from Japan. Japan has like the best vintage Chanel vintage designer stuff and I was like ah. and I'm pretty sure I was doing some research I'm pretty sure with this little emblem right here it means that this is like 24 karat plated gold which makes it even more valuable but oh my god I'm so excited this is what it looks like I keep a little bit of like stuffing inside so that it keeps shape because she is a little bit of an older gal but I love her so much it even came with like these are the tags and it has like information about the classic flap and I think you tap your card to see See NFC enabled phones to view authenticated details. I don't know. I thought it was pretty kind of cool. It was my, one of my first times shopping eBay Authenticate. Another thing that I got on eBay Authenticate is this little bag charm. But I love eBay. You can find a lot of like cheaper stuff because I feel like, I don't know, at those secondhand stores, they definitely mark it up and they know the price. Whereas eBay is like random people and sometimes they may not know the price. So I'm really happy about my bag. And she's like my first classic flap. I had a fake classic flap when I was in high school. I don't know if you ever saw me post in it, but now this is a real one and I love her so much. And I also feel like it's one of those pieces that I could hand down to my daughter and Chanel classic flaps go up in value so much each year. So yeah, I feel like it'll be like that forever piece. And hey, if times get tough, I also know she'll keep her value. If anything, she'll go up in value. Next up from Amazon. I'm gonna make it closer. I feel like you're so far. Blue, where'd you go? Oh. Come hang out with me. From Amazon, I got, watch out. Ooh, yay! None of this is for you. I got this, what is this called? A bath mat or a shower mat? Because me and my boyfriend have just been using a towel. <laughs> He's like, let me just buy a bath mat. And I'm like, no, let me get a cute one. So I found this one. It says, let's get it on. No, it says, let's get naked. <laughs> get it because it's a shower but I think it'll be cute for upstairs Woo! and then I'm planning on painting my upstairs closet so I got these little paint brushes these were so cheap on Amazon at Home Depot they sell them for like $20 for one of them so come over here so I don't know I'm excited to paint and now I have this that's ready and my biggest pet peeve is my boyfriend doesn't clean his bong as often as he should so I got him one of these <laughs> He's like, it's clean, it's clean. I'm like, girl, I kiss you. Like, you literally, like, you need, like, hygiene stuff. He's normally, he's a germaphobe, but he smokes so much that I got him this because it's my pet peeve and he needs to clean his bong. <laughs> Next up, I actually just got this in the mail today. Where's my scissors? Ah! 
Oh, I'm so excited. I was invited to a Miss Circle event in New York and they sent me this gorgeous yellow dress and it was so beautiful. So, and I also saw some gorgeous girls. They had the most gorgeous dresses and corset tops. <laughs> Miss Circle. But hi love, we hope you love these pieces as much as we do. Can't wait to see you rock these styles and sending you lots of love always. Whoever's handwriting this is, it literally looks like a font. But move out the way. Your bum, no one wants to see a bum. What? No one wants to see a bum. But the first thing that I got, ah, I'm so excited. This is so, what did I say about your bum? What did I say? Other side, go right here. Okay, stay over there. Hey. I got this corset top. How cute is this? I'm so excited to wear this. This would be so cute with jeans, so cute with anything, even with like a white skirt. They have this in dress form as well, but I felt like I would wear the corset a lot more. Ah, I'm so excited. And then I got this for the holidays. I'm thinking ahead. They came out with the most gorgeous red dress. Ah! I even think that this could be cute. Like if me and my boyfriend have no ideas for Halloween, we could always do Hailey Bieber and Justin Bieber and I can wear this red dress. But how cute is this? It has a little bow for the holidays. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do for Vlogmas, but it could be cute for a little holiday moment. But yeah, ah, thank you so much, Miss Circle. All eyes on me. Love it. I'm so excited to wear. Next up, oh my God, I wanted to show you guys. Probably like, what is that Sephora thing in the back? I basically ordered two of the same thing. I got the Sephora Favorites Advent Calendar, and bitch, these Advent Calendars are sold out everywhere already. It's only October, it's not even November yet. Like the holidays are, haven't even started. It's literally like Halloween is coming up. But yeah, it's the Sephora Favorites Advent Calendar. It has 25 things, it's $99, valued at 300, and I wanna do a TikTok unboxing everything. Like look at all this stuff that's inside of it. Like just, I was calculating it, just the full size products, like the milk, makeup, and the summer Fridays, which I was gonna get anyways. Just those two are $50, not including like, um, they have like a mini beauty blender, which like that's $18. Like there's so many things in here and I feel like you really get your bang out of your buck for this. Even I wanted to get the Smashbox primer. Like ah, I'm so excited about this. So I'm gonna do an unboxing on TikTok and stay tuned because I bought two so I could give away one. So if you're not already, make sure that you're following my TikTok. It's just Adeline Morin on TikTok because I'm so close to hitting a million followers. I'm like literally so close. So please, 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 please. If you aren't following me on TikTok already, follow and and you can have a chance to win. Next. Ooh, this one says Tower 28 Beauty. Tower 28. Ah! Do you have to sniff everything? So I got the Tower 28 SPF 30, the Shea Butter Juice Bomb, ooh, ooh, Fill Me In Liner, Fill Me In Liner? Yeah, Multi Liner. The Juice Bomb, Multi Liner, Serum Concealer. Oh my God, I've heard so many things about this Tower 28 concealer. And then the Eliminating Bronzer and Luminous Tinted Bomb. Ah! Thank you so much, Tower 28. I'm so excited to try it. I feel like there's been so many, like, I feel like I've been so out of the makeup game. Like, so, I, me and Sierra were shopping at Sephora and she's like, what, you've never heard of Refi Beauty? Like, you've never heard of this? Like, this is all over my TikTok. I'm like, maybe I'm like not on that side of TikTok and I, I'm just like behind on the makeup trends. I feel like I just like, especially after COVID, I stopped buying a lot of makeup. I just started using my own, the ones that I already have and like sticking to my makeup routine. I used to be so obsessed with makeup. Remember, I used to do like 100 days of makeup. I was obsessed with it. And I don't know, I just like haven't bought new products in a really long time. Like I'll go to Sephora here or there if I like have a restock or I need to restock on something new, but I haven't been trying new products. So I'm really excited. Thank you, Tower 28 Beauty. Next, whoa, Armra. Ooh, we got a little water bottle. This is their Immune Revival, Immune Barrier Superfood Protect, Regenerate and Strengthen. Ooh, nice. And then this is their little sample pack as well. It's an unflavored and blood orange. Thank you, Armra. And then I have an Amazon addiction. I think today it's actually, it's like Amazon Prime Day. And I'm so upset because I bought so many things and they're all on sale today. And I'm like, I like, can I even return it and like get the same thing? But I got this bag sealer and cutter. I thought that this was really cool. Oh my God, it comes with batteries as well. But this is for when you have chips. You know how when you get your chips and then they became, they become stale because you know, you put the clip on, but like, you know, it, it like kind of works. This shit melts it back together. Move your bum! But this shit closes the bag back shut. How do I put the batteries in? It kind of like melts it. Ooh, it has a little cutter as well. But you melt the bag like this. Let me try and do it. I'm gonna try. Let me 
Let me see if I have a chip bag. Let's see. Okay, let's see if there's any that I have already. Oh, like this. This is a good one. So this Hershey's Kiss is already open and it's gonna go stale. So I'm gonna cut off the excess. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing it right now. This is my first time trying it, so hopefully it works. Okay, and then apparently all you do is, it smells like it's burning. Oh my God, oh my God. I literally don't know how to do it. Oh, it kind of worked. Okay, wait, I should have done it a little bit bigger. Slide it and now it's completely sealed shut. I kind of did it. I feel like it's easier to do on like bags, like chip bags and stuff like that. But let me see if there's another one. I don't see any, but I'm gonna keep this in the cabinet because I feel like you can always use that when you open a bag of chips and you don't finish it. Another thing that I got is I got these earrings. I wear these earrings. Come right here. Are you just the star of the show today? You're gonna be on my lap. This is what I got. I got these silver earrings. I have the big ones, but I was really excited. I've been wearing the gold ones, the small ones a lot, but this is what it looks like. They're like the tiny Bottega earrings. And now I have them all. I have like the big silver ones, the small silver ones, the big gold ones, the small gold ones. And I think these were like $11 and the big ones are like 17, but I love these earrings. I would like put it in, but I have my earrings in already, but they're so good and they go with everything. And I know I always thought that I was like a gold girl, but I also do love mixing it up a bit. You know, you gotta keep the bitches on their toes. You can never know what I'm gonna be wearing next. <laughs> and I feel like I, with my everyday jewelry, I kind of mix up silver and gold too. Next up, I got, I saw this one TikTok and it was like, you do not need to <laughs> buy a new fall wardrobe. You need black tights. And it's so true. Like, honestly, you can make any outfit look fall with a pair of black tights. All of my tights have holes in them. And like, even if I bought the expensive ones, you ever done that? Like, I swear, there's like these ones and they like, they swear that they don't rip. They swear that they don't, you know, get ruined, but they do. So I'm sticking to my cheap tights. These are the ones that I got. And I feel like with any outfit, Outfit, it'll just make it look way more fall. I'm excited! Fall outfits! Move your little bum bum. The next thing I got, I got a new mic because I'm gonna have guests on my podcast now. This is the SM7B Sure microphone, and yeah, I'm using this. My first guest, guess who it is? Andre. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. I don't know. I don't want to be the, the type of person that's like, oh, like putting random people. I just like, I don't know. I've never been a huge fan of people who have guests and then they're like, oh my God, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm like, girl, quit licking each other's assholes and like get into the juice. Like Jesus Christ. Like I love when people are just like friends and they like, you get the vibe and it's, I don't know. To me, it's more entertaining than like, I feel like it's like kind of awkward when like two people are just met. Okay, I got a lot from Fabletics. I'm basically working with Fabletics in the next couple months, and I'm so excited. This video is not sponsored, by the way. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I like filled out a whole thing. They were like, what kind of clothes do you like? So I got this forest green leggings. Whoa! Look at this forest green puffer. Move your bum. I love how she actually does it. <laughs> with the matching forest green bra. I'm so excited. I've been starting Pilates recently. I've been doing heels classes in Pilates, so I feel like these would be super cute. Black, black everyone needs. With some black shorts, and they have little pockets on the side. This plain white tee and ribbed tank. Oh my God, these are so cute. These like white cream cargo. Oh my God, I, the quality is so nice. It's like buttery soft. White cream cargo pants. These gray sweats and this black hoodie. Everyone needs some good black leggings. And then the last thing in here. Ah! is this black Sherpa and it's a button up. Oh my God, this is so cute for fall. But yeah, thank you Fabletics and stay tuned for lots of workout fall fits. Another thing that I, I actually already opened. It's from Talentless. Talentless sent over. I already opened it, it's upstairs. But it's this like white top with the cream track pants and they're so cute. I'll insert a photo here. Next, what is this? Ah! Oh my God, I'm so stocked. We got some Alani energy drinks. We got a 12 pack. My sister's gonna love this. She's coming over soon. She was trying to plan her trip. Oh my God, this is huge. And they're juicy peach energy. I guess this is the smaller cans. Aw, we the small cans are so cute. I honestly love this because I'm never able to finish a full pack of Alani. I, I feel like it's a lot of caffeine. So I always end up drinking half. So these little minis are so cute. And I feel like it's, it's just cute if like maybe you have a small business and you want to give like, you know, some drinks to, I don't know if you have a lash business or a nail business. I think this is super cute. Thank you, Alani. Next, I went on Depop and I get cut. I just thought that this was so cute and this would be so fun to just like wear around the house, to just be super cozy.
the end. It's this Toronto Maple Leafs crew neck, and I don't know, I got it in an extra, extra large. Like, I'm gonna wear this shit as a dress, like, just underwear on, walking around the house with the Ugg slippers, like, chill, comfy as f high as hell, watching TV with this hoodie. That's the vibes for this hoodie. I'm so excited. Oh my god. This is so cute. Toronto Maple Leafs. Next. We got, how does this open? Sometimes I'm so confused by these boxes. Okay, there we go. Oh, ColourPop. Oh my God, ColourPop. This is their new collection. It's their, these are their shadow sticks, their luxe lipsticks, an 1111 eyeshadow palette. I always make a wish on 1111. I love how they package it so it doesn't break. Cause I always, I'm always scared when I order makeup online that it's gonna break. Some blushes. But yeah, thank you ColourPop. <laughs> Can you tell I was missing home? <laughs> Oh, it even came with an ice pack. That's crazy. And it's still cold. Holy shit. Um, I got some Halloween candy, but they're all Canadian. Ah! So I got some, excuse me. I got some Smarties, Arrow, Kit Kat, Coffee Crisp. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm gonna give this away for Halloween. This I might just keep for myself, but it's just fun to have the Halloween candies. And then I couldn't just stop there, bitch. Ah! Oh my god, I got some. They have this on Amazon, by the way. I ordered both of these on Amazon. They are a little bit more expensive because I feel like a bag of chips is normally like $4 and it was a little bit more, but it's like, hey, you can't buy it here, so this is the best it's gonna get. All dress chips, all dress. Oh, wait, what's that? Barbecue, all dress. Sour cream bacon. I've never even tried this. <laughs> like, what? And then ketchup chips. Woo! I'm really excited about this. I came across this on Amazon. It's this wrap organizer box and you'll see it's so cute we're gonna put it in the house i also got some double a batteries because my karaoke machine needed some double a batteries and andre and i were trying to have karaoke the mics weren't working because i didn't have any but look at how satisfying this is oh my god oh wait i thought it was labeled label if you need oh i think the labels are in here but everything that i showed today will be linked on my storefront i'm sorry you're probably not gonna see this during amazon prime deals but i'm sure there's gonna be probably other sales especially during the holidays for sure. But are you ever like, oh my God, I can never find my fucking, you know, plastic wrap or saran wrap or aluminum foil. This keeps everything. And it's so satisfying. This is how you cut it. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I want to put this in one of the drawers. But yeah, you do foil, plastic, wax, parchment paper, whatever it is, and you can label it. I kind of want to do it right now. <laughs> Wait, I'm, yeah, I'm going to do it right now. I don't know which drawer I should use. I honestly kind of want to do this one because it's like near the oven. This is what I have in it so far. Will it fit? Yeah, it'll fit. Maybe I'll move that stuff here. Okay, I put all that stuff in here. Now I'm going to put, how do you think I should put it? Like this or like this? Okay, so this is how I keep my, it's not very organized but this is how i keep my aluminum foils and everything it's right here underneath the sink which it could be organized a little better and now let's see i think you can put them on the side right here this comes out i'm gonna put how should i organize it i feel like we always need aluminum so i'm gonna put aluminum foil right here like this Ooh. oh my god this is so cool and then maybe we'll put parchment paper in the second one and then saran wrap we'll go like this and I have an extra. Should I just do two? I have extra of both. I don't know. Maybe I'll put extra tin foil. Let's do that, I guess. And close her. Ooh, it's magnetic. This is what it looks like. And I can kind of pull everything out like this. So it's like readily available. But ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna label them. Stuff like this just like, it gets me so excited. You know you're getting old when you get horny over fucking like portion paper organizers. Like this is embarrassing. I'm aroused right now. So we have plastic right here, the parchment paper right here, aluminum foil here. Like what else? Plastic, wax? Like what's wax paper? Isn't wax paper and parchment paper the same thing? I'm just gonna put foil for both of them because that's all that I really use. Oh, so satisfying. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in the drawer. The before, after, and I could put the extra. Oh, is this what it was talking about? This is like different type of saran wrap. Maybe I'll do this instead, instead of the two aluminum foils, that way. They're a little bit different. We'll replace this. I feel like it makes no sense to put this here. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is wax paper. It's a quick Google away, but I could always just piss people off in the comments and they could come and be like, you got this wrong and then I'll get more engagement. People love telling me when I'm wrong. This is what it looks like. I'm totally joking, by the way. This is the organized shelf. It looks so good, especially right next to the spices, which, oh my God, I'm so mad. These spices were on sale today too. The organizers, and then we just have any extras back here, but ah, I love it. 
it. I'm gonna keep the stickers back here just in case I switch anything. But ah, it's so satisfying. Now I can like pull it out. You can cut it with these things. I love it. I'm also gonna put these snacks in. Whenever I go to White Fox and headquarters in LA, they always have Smarties. I think they have Smarties in Australia as well. And I always steal them because <laughs> it's so hard to find Smarties. Well, they have Smarties here, but it's like a different kind. It's not like the Canadian kind. Uh oh. Oh, I'm too much. More containers. I could put more in here. This is kind of like the container that White Fox has. And they put, they have like Smarties. They have, what's the other one? The one with the little pandas. Yeah! All my Canadian candies. Now, when people come over, they know. My sister's gonna love it when she comes here. <laughs> this is all the extra energy drinks that we have. I put most of the energy drinks in the fridge already. Ignore the fridge is kind of messy, but now she has some. She wants to take some home. She's crazy. She took so much home last time she was here because she loves energy drinks. I think she brought like, because Canada has like a limit. I think they have like, you can only have a certain amount of caffeine or something like that. I don't know. Canada's healthy. I don't know. America's not. So <laughs> she, oh my God, I almost fell. She brought a bunch of energy drinks back because she left Celsius. But here's our bathroom. We don't have, we've been using like a little towel, but now we can use this. Yay, and I wanted a long one, because we have like a long, cute. Get naked. <laughs> oh my God, I don't even think I showed you this. I went to Lush. It was before New York Fashion. I was gonna vlog it, but I forgot. And I got my favorite body wash. It's actually in here. I use this body wash all the time. It's called Rose Gel. I've used this for years. Amanda and Mario would use my shower gel in Paris. And they were like, I love it so much. They bought it. Like, it's the best smelling body wash ever. And then, and it's all natural. And then I also, because we have a tub, I'm so excited. I got, this is the Patrick Store. <laughs> Little bath bomb. How cute is that? They did like a SpongeBob collab. And then they also had a Barbie collab. You guys know I always use the Bumblebee. I feel like whenever I put the bumblebee on my legs, I literally feel like a baby's bum. So they have the Barbie version. It's very sweet smelling. The bumblebee is more like a honey smell. This is very sweet. And I also got a little Barbie bath bomb because I just thought that the Barbie collab was so cute. And the last thing that they gave me, they gave me this little Barbie jelly face mask because I was like, oh, today's like my hangover day. And you know Lush workers. Like Lush workers are literally the nicest people on earth. So she gave me a little like sample. Like how cute is that? She's like, this is for your hangover day like this will make you feel better i'm like why are you the nicest human on earth but that's everything that i got from lush i love lush do you remember when we would go on those like brand trips with lush oh, i miss that like i literally we went to the london convention remember rosie oh, that was such good times lush i love you <laughs> and moving on my hands still smell like lush <laughs> hi can you get around I also got this little step stool from Amazon because our closet is so tall. I wanted it for both our master closet and my closet. Um, it just feels like running across the camera like a million times. But I don't know. I thought it was a really cute step stool. I think it's actually from Ikea, but I got it on Amazon. And it was like two-day delivery. It was so easy. But these are all the parts. Ooh, I feel like this will be easy to put together. Do I need any tools? I don't think I need anything. Oh, it comes with a little screwdriver. Okay, I can totally do this. Let me kind of focus. such confusing instructions. I had to like undo it and redo it a bunch of times, but now I can reach the top of my closet. I think I'm gonna use this in both our closet and my room. I don't know if I really need it for my room. Like I can kind of reach everything on my own. I don't know. But if I wanna put anything up here, now I can reach up here. I don't know if I want, should put anything up here. Would it look weird if I put stuff on the top? I don't know. Okay, next, this is from The Real Real. I've been addicted to The Real Real recently. I've just been obsessed with vintage pieces because I've always wanted a Chanel blazer, but the Chanel blazers are like $10,000. They're so expensive. I found this on The Real Real. It was so cute and it was, like not even a fraction of the price. And I also thought, this is just me being crazy, but I thought it could be cute to wear this when I pick up my mini Kelly in Paris. Ah! But this is what it looks like. Oh my God, this is my first, the real real, ta-da! It's my first time seeing it. They put, I think it was like Chanel, like 1990 something runway. So I literally watched that runway on YouTube and it was so, she was giving love it. Oh my God. This is it. And it comes with, oh my God, I knew it. I was asking like one of the shopping advisors, I was like, are these, is this like brown part? Is it detachable? And they were like, no. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, wow. They have the original tags. 
It's, this suit is literally older than me. It was $2,000 and I bought it for $700. And I think it's so cute. Like look at the, my favorite thing about it is the collar and it has the little Chanel detailing right here. It even has the Chanel little buttons right here. And it comes with the matching skirt. And I was thinking of getting this altered so it's like a cute little mini skirt. Oh my God, this is so cute. And it's like my exact size too. But yeah, it's kind of like a midi skirt. It's more like professional, but I kind of want to make it like, uh, like a mini skirt, like super small. But oh my God, I love this. <laughs> The buttons are so cute. Like, it's so cute to wear it with the buttons underneath. And then I think it'll also be really interesting to wear it without. It has all the detachable, I think. Oh, it's like a little, like, clip. So it could just be a plain black Chanel suit or a little pretty Chanel little blouse right here. Yeah, I'm so excited. My first ever Chanel suit. Okay, and then from Amazon. Oh, is this Amazon? Oh, these are my heels because I started taking a heels class and I didn't have any good heels to dance in. So these are specific heels for dancing and like almost all the girls had like this heel. I'm pretty sure because it's literally from Amazon. It's like the cheapest one. But yeah, this is it. I'm so excited. Let me make sure that it fits. And it's super easy to put on because of the zipper. I ordered a six and a half, which is my size. It says true to size. I feel like that's easy. That'll be easy to walk in and stuff. Pew, pew. And I feel like it's just black, so it'll just go with everything. Yay! What are you laughing at? The dog memes. But these are my heels for dance. I'm so excited. Next. Finally, I got my cord so that Andre and I can <laughs> record my podcast. Ta and then, oh, I already opened this, but I got this little Chanel blouse. I actually wore it in um, the photo shoot that I did with Sierra, Andre, and Abrielle. So into the photo here. <laughs> I love it so much. I've been obsessed with vintage pieces. Vintage pieces are cheaper, they're more unique, and they're kind of cute. And you always get what you want because you can just find it online. Whereas sometimes when you go to the Chanel boutique, they're like, oh, we don't have that in stock, we don't have that in stock. The next thing that I got, I got this little, Chanel skirt. I got this so that I can wear it with my pink shirt that I got. It's from Revolve, but it looks like Chanel and I thought that it would be cute together. I know it looks like the other one, but this one's like more of like a long one and it flares out at the end and she's my size, but it's just a plain black Chanel skirt and it wasn't bad. I think it was like literally 50 bucks. So, and then the last thing I kept the best for last. Oh, oh my god. We have a bar cart, but I think in the move, we lost the little mirrors on it. So we're not able to use it. I might try and donate it and see if anyone wants to like DIY it and like figure it out. Like to Goodwill or Salvation Army, but I got a new bar cart on Amazon and I wanted to make it for a little bar station. I think once I do this, like our house should be ready for a housewarming party because almost all the rooms are ready. Ah! I might have to put this together in a second, but oh, I'm so excited to finally have a bar cart. But that's everything that I got in the mail. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm gonna put everything away because everything's right here. No way. I was looking at this even more. This suit was $3,400. I don't even know if that was like just for the top or if it was sold together, but $3,500 and I got it for $700. Does it say what year? And then they have like the little samples. <laughs> I don't know why they do that, like the little samples of the fabrics. <laughs> okay, I tried on the blazer just for fun, but look at how, ignore my sweatpants, but look at how cute this is. I feel like this would be so cute to pick up my Chanel or my, my mini Kelly in Paris. Like this is so cute. And even just to wear like the black, imagine this with like the mini skirt. I think this would be so cute with the little Chanel buttons. Like. <laughs> This is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. They just gave me this hanger, but I want to put it. I have these like Chanel hangers. I bought these Chanel hangers just like put on Poshmark. They also sell them on eBay and they're about like 20 bucks each, but I feel like it elevates your closet so much, especially with these Chanel pieces. I don't know if they made these types of Chanel hangers back in the day. <laughs> I can put the buttons all up. I also have these for the skirts. I think I want to hem it so that it's literally like this. <laughs> it's not crazy. And if people are going to be like, oh, you're ruining this. Whatever. Like, clothes are meant to be worn and I want to wear it the way I want to wear it. People alter their clothes all the time. It's actually really normal. And then the long skirt. This is the shirt that I wanted to wear with it. I put the Chanel hanger on it, but it looks like this. Like, how cute would that be together? That's, it's giving like Chanel 1995 collection. Ta Oh my god, I love it. Wow, she's so beautiful in here. Oh my god. It's the buttons for me. Like, oh my god, the buttons.
buttons are so the details are so gorgeous oh my god look at what i just found in this pocket a receipt oh my god this is so cool I, this is why i love vintage pieces so much because i feel like it's almost like you know this is a part of someone's story like someone went to chanel and bought this like i don't know i think that it's so cool and i love knowing oh my god i have the girl's name that's kind of crazy it was from the chanel boutique in san francisco she paid with amex but what did she get she got large skirt in a short boot oh so i think that the skirt and the blazer were sold separately which makes sense but it was bought in october 1st 1998 like how cool is that it literally says that right here wow that's super cool i don't know why i like i fangirl over things like this like this stuff makes me so excited i also thought how cool would it be if i want to like either put my computer here or, like an ipad here and just like have the chanel runways on loop here so like while i'm getting ready it's like they're playing and I can play music it's just like that's the vibe like i don't know i thought that, that would be really cool <laughs> wait is there anything else in the pockets i don't think so no wow how neat is that also a lot of people were asking me about my mini kelly i'm actually so my sales associate told me it takes about like six months to a year to get your bag but she's seen four months so i ordered it back in may i think it was may but i think they actually submitted the whole order in june so it should be ready maybe november just it could honestly be ready this month month who knows but apparently i don't know if this is true but i saw a tiktok saying that if you don't pick it up within five days they offer to someone else what and i have to go to paris to go pick it up so i just have to like book the ticket and like go there and pick up the bag which i am more than willing to do flying across the world for a bag yes i will do that but yeah i'm so i'm like searching i'm looking at my email for like a hawk because i'm i don't want to miss the email but i'm sure it'll come up soon hopefully hopefully fingers crossed november or december my boyfriend and i just went in this closet and i found the mirrors for the bar cart so i might have to return the bar cart that i just bought this is for the bar this is for the bar i'm so excited i saved like 100 bucks and we have a whole new closet this is the harry potter closet look at there's so much to do in here. So much room for activities. Blue, look at all this. Hi, look at this closet. We're in a Harry Potter closet. It's like a whole new room. Whoa, how fun is it in here? Okay, so here's the before. She needs work. so much better so much cleaner and i put all of the new classes this is for any like new teenies that we do i love these like these thin like wine glasses i swear it makes the wine taste better we have all of our tequilas and all of our mixers this little like for margaritas and i want to make this barbie cocktail so i have those in the back but ta-da this will be fun when we finally have a housewarming i'm lighting my candle and watching hocus pocus it's so cool and i don't like burn myself with a little teeny tiny lighter where'd you get that amazon <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i'm gonna pause this today's merch shout of the day oh goes to nicole on instagram she's wearing the 437 my collection with them the matcha ice matcha collection she looks so cute she's i honestly love her she's a vlogger and she's a dancer she honestly like really got me back into dancing i was like mm. I miss dance. Dance is so fun. And then today's tip of the day goes to Monique Affirmations on Instagram. You just tag me. That's how you become merch shot of the day or tip of the day. And her tip of the day says, focus on the step in front of you and not the whole staircase. I feel like when I look at all the things that I want to accomplish and all my goals, it can be overwhelming. And it really helps to really just like break it down and go, like, okay, so this week I'm going to do this. And this week I'm going to do this. And it's like little goals every single week becomes way more doable. But I love you guys. I love you. We hope you have a good Halloween. Just kidding. <laughs> see, I see you. We're always here every Monday and Friday on my vlog channel and every Wednesday on my podcast channel. I'm always here. Same place, same time. Love you guys. You want it, you want it. I know you want it, want it. The sides feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Please the sides feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch.